Lonnie, 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 get your adverbs here. Lonnie, 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 got some adverbs here. Hello and welcome to our podcast on using adverbs correctly. Let's go ahead and jump right in and see what we're talking about here. So first off, before we get into what adverbs are and how they are used, let's review a little bit and look at what adjectives are because these two parts of speech are commonly confused in terms of their usage. So first off, an adjective describes a noun. And in case we need to review what a noun is, remember that is a person, place, thing, idea, or emotion. They can be concrete nouns, like they actually describe something physical and tangible, like desk, computer, football, potato. Or they could be abstract nouns, such as happiness, emotion, fatigue, something you can't actually touch. Anyway, adjectives describe nouns. So the common usage in English is that they are placed right before the noun they modify. For example, football is a tough sport. Sport is a noun. It's a thing. What kind of sport? A tough sport. Or, the blue car slammed into the leafy tree. What kind of car? Blue. What kind of tree? Leafy. We can also use adjectives in a predicate adjective scenario. And so this is where the adjective comes after a linking verb. Basically, the subject is linked to the predicate by a linking verb, a verb form of to be. So, for example, Johnny is smart. What is Johnny? Smart. So, rather than say something like, smart Johnny did his homework. What kind of Johnny? Smart. Because that just seems weird. We can use a predicate adjective, placing the adjective in the predicate or the ending of the sentence and then linking it to its subject. In addition, the articles of a, an, and the are considered adjectives. So when we're talking about our parts of speech, adjectives is one of those parts of speech. Articles fit into that group of parts of speech because they tell us which one. Which car? The car. So it kind of serves the same role as an adjective. Now moving on to the focus of today, we need to look at adverbs. Adverbs usually and mostly describe verbs. And the way to remember that is in the word adverb, you have the word verb also. So just a quick review, verbs tend to be action words. He ran, they swam, we will talk. But they could also be linking verbs. So for example, if we're using an adverb to describe a verb, we might say, he runs quickly. Runs as a verb since it's an action, how does he run? Quickly. Sally talks softly and bluntly. How does she talk? Softly and bluntly. Another use of adverbs is to describe adjectives. So this links from our first slide. That car is exceptionally blue. Car is our noun. Blue is an adjective because it's telling us which car. And then exceptionally is telling us how blue is it. Well, really blue. Exceptionally blue. So an adverb can also describe an adjective. That very tall man is in my way. How tall? Very tall. Adverbs can also describe other adverbs. He ran quite quickly. How did he run? Quickly. How quickly? Quite quickly. So quickly serves as an adverb because it's telling us how he ran. But then quite is also telling us how quickly he was running. So adverbs can be potentially pretty confusing, which is why we wanted to talk about them today. But the things that they can do, they can describe verbs, they can describe adjectives, they can describe other adverbs. So yes, many adverbs tend to end in L-Y. So that is usually a good indicator that an adverb is being used. So think about this sentence stem. They ran. Well, how do they run? Quickly, stubbornly recursively. Any of those words where we might be able to add an L-Y to it are probably going to be serving as adverbs because they're going to further describe the verb, which is how did they run. But we do have exceptions to this, of course, because it's English and there are oftentimes more exceptions than there are rules, and we just need to consider this. Many adverbs do not end in L-Y. For example, he needs to think fast. Well, how does he need to think fast? We would not say fastly. So even though we are talking about describing the verb here, like how does he need to do it? In this particular case, we're not going to use fastly. The other two on this slide are ones that come up more often, and these are kind of the focus of today. 
I feel bad. And so in this case, feel is used as a linking verb. It is linking the pronoun of I to its predicate of bad. You're not actually physically doing the action of feeling. You're just linking these two things. Therefore, in that sentence, bad serves as an adjective, and therefore, we should be using bad. We don't use badly, which is the adverb, unless we actually mean that we aren't good at touching things. When I try to discern different types of fabrics by touch, I don't do a good job. I can't tell them apart. I feel badly, meaning I do a bad job of feeling items. The last one here, she did well. If we mean that she did a good job of that, she was very successful in her doing, then did is an action verb, and we're trying to describe how did she do? She did well, because well is the adverb. We would not say she did good, unless we mean to say what exactly did she do? Not how, but what? Well, she did good, meaning she did charitable works. If we're trying to describe how she did it, meaning she did a fairly decent job and she should be commended for it, then we need to say, how did she do? She did well, because well is an adverb. But if we're trying to say, what did she do? Then we would need to use good. She did good. She did charitable works. So the general rule to try and ease some confusion is that verbs of sensation or motion will take the non-ly adverbs when the adverbs come after that verb. I feel bad, because feel is a verb, but it's not an action verb, it's more of a linking verb. Go slow. How should I go? Slow. Be careful to stop short if the person in front of you hits their brakes quickly. How should I stop? Short. You wouldn't say stop shortly. So let's go ahead and do some practice with this because I'm sure this is going to be rather confusing as we try to apply it, but let's see if we can do this. For each one of these, see if you can choose the correct form of the adjective or adverb that you need in order for the sentence to actually mean what you're trying to get it to say. So for example, while sick, I felt bad or I felt badly. Go ahead and pick which one of those would be the correct word for that instance of usage. Go ahead and stop the podcast, quiz yourself, and we'll show the answers on the next slide. Hey, Angel. And so here are the answers. How did you do? Number one, while sick, I felt bad. It's not the action of feeling. It's just the linking verb of feeling. Therefore, we use bad. Number two, be sure to do well on your test. How should I do? You should do well. It's not good, because that would be kind of the noun form, actually. Be sure to do good on your test, like do good, do charitable works. That's not what you mean. Number three, I ran quickly to the bus. How did I run? Quickly. Number four, that tastes good. Again, this is one of those feeling linking verb kind of things that we would have, and we should use the adjective form after, not the adverb. If we said something like, that tastes well, did they do a good job of tasting, or were they ineffectual while tasting? Which is rather strange and not really what we're saying. Number five, she went slow down the hall. Because it comes after that verb, we're going to use slow. But then contrast that with number six, she slowly went down the hall. How did she go? Slowly. Since it comes before, we're going to go ahead and use the adverb form. So adverbs may be a little bit more confusing than we originally thought. So again, adverbs describe verbs, they describe adjectives, and they can describe other adverbs. So when you're considering whether I need to use one or not, just slow your pace of thinking a little bit, look at the structure you're given, and decide do I need to use the adverb form here, or do I need, need to use the adjective form here. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to bring those in the class, we'll get those answered for you. Otherwise, thanks so much, and we'll see you soon.